hi welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to use your regular bone and your plastic bone in making a cut set so if this is what you're interested in knowing how to do make sure you stay to the end so you can follow the step-by-step -step process in achieving this if you're a new subscriber here welcome to the channel i appreciate you to my old g's my old subscribers i appreciate you all so if this is your first time i'm patricia in nigeria with my sweat designer based here in nigeria i create sewing tutorials like this one you're seeing now fashion hacks and tricks behind the scene vlogs and lots more so do wait to subscribe so you won't miss out any of my amazing content so guys let's jump straight into the tutorial <music> that do not know what is regular bone plastic bone and other types of bone they have even metal bone or steel bone so this is a regular bone this is a black color one see the size the size is different this is also a regular bone the size is also different the difference between these two is noticeable okay it's not really noticeable at least there's a difference between the two then this is also a regular bone this is the big size yeah so this is also a regular bone the big size depending on your choice what you want to use it for and the style or design you want to achieve this is a plastic bone yeah this is a plastic bone it's more thick yeah it's more thick and more flexible yeah i think it's more flexible for me and it's not sewn on top for the regular bone you can actually stitch it with your machine like you can run a, a straight stitch on it with your machine why the plastic bone you pipe it inside you don't sew on top you pipe it inside with your if you're using the plastic bone but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using both the plastic bone and the regular bone. I'm making a beautiful cut set gown. This is the back. As you can see, I've joined here from the pattern that I created. I, I joined the other dots here on the paper. I joined it together, the dots I had here. So I can as well make my my eyelids my eyelids can easily pass on this place because there would also be a bone here at the center back so that is why i have at least one dart joining here because i've already joined the dart allowance i made on the pattern together before cutting it on my fabric so i i actually joined this place because i want to pass my plastic bone using this same allowance i gave here for the plastic bone I'll be using a running stitch to run through this place and pipe my plastic bone. I'll be doing it for both sides, not just the one side. You can decide to cut the thread and come back and do it on this other side. So as you can see, I use a matching thread for it. So you can't easily see this thread, like it's neat, it's looking all neat. You can't easily notice that I actually top stitched on it, unless you come closer to the dress. So I've run the straight stitch like this, and I'm going to pipe my plastic bone inside it. Before that, you can decide to use your lining, the lining you're using for your for your clothes to turn it at the upper part. This is the upper part of my own. This is the upper part. You can decide to use a line and turn it here so you can know that here is already closed. So you can pipe it, pipe your plastic bone and stitch it down here to close it. So I will be getting my lining so I can use my lining to turn it at the upper part. But before then, let me stitch my regular bone. So for the regular bone, as you can see, the way the thing curves, it curves like this. This is the way it's curving like this so for you to put it very well just follow the way i'm doing it the way it curves like this don't go and put it like this and sew it like like this 
rather you put it this way let it curve like this while putting it just follow what i'm doing right now let it curve like this while putting it be careful of how you put your regular bone because that's the effect it will give you after you stitched it on your material some persons can decide to use a masking tape to mask it up here to cover up the rough edges on the regular bone depends on your choice or your preference so you can decide to use your masking tape to cover it up here before stitching on it but for me i'll be stitching it directly you can also decide to measure it before stitching it you can decide to put your measurements like the length you want it where you want it to stop before stitching on it so when i get to the down i will know the length i want and give at least half inch away from from the waistline so that it will not enter inside my seam while sewing i'll flip it to this side and continue So this is how the plastic, the regular bone is. Look at how it is on the right side. I used the tiny one, I didn't use the bigger size. So this is how it is. As you can see, I gave allowance on the upper part and the down part as well. So I'll be running on that one here. Remember when I cut my pattern for this outfit, I've already joined my dart, all the dart I took on this outfit. I've already put it together and tape it with my masking tape before cutting it on my fabric that is why it's looking so plain like this so i'm done sewing it on this side and on this side if you notice i'll sew it on this place if you can notice you can see very well i was sewing here i was also sewing inside there's a small allowance there if you have your regular bone you can notice a small allowance there just very small that's where your thread that's what you stitch on don't go and stitch on the inside just stitch at that edge that very small tiny edge there since your iron not here so well why iron it so it will melt the regular bowl you know it's plastic so go ahead and iron it on top of it and turn it to the front side and iron everything then i will show you how it looks like go ahead to iron it is laying flat and beautiful at the same time neat so i've ironed this and it's laying flat for me i didn't melt my regular bone i used my steam iron to iron it like this so this is the lining i'll be using for it this is my lining i've also ironed my lining in place i'll be throwing the upper part of this dress Making sure that the that are matching up together. So I told you before that I'll be putting a regular bone on this part. This part is very crucial. So you have to put a bone here. I did not say plastic bone. So I need to put a regular bone at the center back of this. So you can cinch the waist very well. So I've added my regular board on this side. I'll go ahead to notch the edges. Be very careful so you won't notch your seam area. So I will turn it up. You can decide to iron it and turn it up, but I will turn it up and iron it. And I'll go ahead and press it down. Go ahead to iron it flat. It's laying flat and I've also ironed it on the inside it's laying all flat and neat and beautiful so this is how it looks like so what next is for me to pipe my plastic bone in well, plastic bone it has another movement to pass it so if you are making if you have to make a Victorian corset and the bust on the bust area you'll pass it like this it has to curve like this if you're passing it on your bust area for your victorian corset in front of it you pass it this way this way you have to cage it the other parts of the body aside 
aside your Victoria corset, you pass it like this. You turn it like this. Unlike the regular bone that you turn like this and sew on top, this one you have to turn it this way. Then you stay iron it after you finish passing it on your material. So I'll be passing it like this. But make sure I'm not passing it inside the net. I'll go again. So I've gotten it, so I have to be careful so I don't switch to another direction. I'll pass it inside like this. So when you get to the edge, when you get to this place, you push it very well. You push it very well so it will not be loose. So as I've pushed it very well, I can decide to mark it where I want it this is where it stops so from here to the half inch allowance i gave for the down part that's where i will cut it so from that place i chopped now i'll mark half inch from there this is my half inch and that is where i'm going to cut it using my scissors i'll cut it like so so it's all out I will push it inward very well and this is the allowance I have for the down but if you think the allowance is not still enough for you it's still very small on like the allowance you gave on your dress you can still push it out and cut it the more just very small then push it all back inside so i think this is enough for us yeah so i'll push it very well making sure that it's tight then i'll go ahead and stitch on top of it not like on the plastic bone just beside very close to the plastic bone be very careful so you won't break your needle while stitching it Yeah, you make a tight stitch there so it won't go out. So I'll cut it off. I will do the same thing for the other side. You know, it's two sides. So I'll do the same thing for this other side. Like this. I'll pass it following this direction. I'll make sure I'm not passing it inside my net. Okay. So I'll pass it like this. When you get to the edge, we'll do the same thing that we did. Push it very well inside. I'm forcing it inside and it has gotten to the edge and it's fitted there. So I'll mark where it stops. Then from there, I can bring it out and measure the half inch allowance I gave for the down. This is where it is. And I will cut it through from there. then push it inside stitch very close to it be careful of your of your needle so it will not break your needle back stitch as well yeah so we are done with this and you cut off your thread And this is how it looks like this is this is it so we packed our reglin bone here our reglin bone here plastic bone on this side and reglin bone here so we have about three channel three channel for the bone one two three sorry we have four one two three four five we have five channel already so this is it so if you make it this for a client and after making it you see how snatched the waist is going to be so i hope this was helpful to you you can go ahead and iron on it so you can lay flat yeah you can iron on it you can as well open it up and iron it like this so it can lay very flat for you this is the way you can also do it for the front 
for any style of corset or bone channel you want to make this is how you can do it if you enjoyed this tutorial give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when i upload new video if you have any contribution or any other method you use for yourself or for your clients please you can comment below so we all can learn we are building a community together so guys see you in my next video bye